Hello and welcome. Once again, we are in the bathroom and we are making a repair on this towel holder that got ripped out of the wall. So I'm going to show you a way to fix it so that it really shouldn't happen again. If you have kids in the bathroom that go and use the hand towel, which they should wash their hands, this is inevitably going to happen because they'll pull down on it. All right, now this is the hole in the wall and this is what came out of it. I really hate these drywall screw anchors. They're useless over time. They always become loose. And so what I recommend is to get these toggle bolts and just have a box of them around. I'll put a link in the description below. They make these in all kinds of different sizes and strengths. This one is perfect for something like a towel holder. And some people commented on the, I'm doing the same thing that I did for the toilet paper roll holder. They said it's total overkill. Well, clearly the sheetrock anchor is not doing the job. So we're going to do the next, the next step up, which is this. Now, I've used these for all kinds of things, and you can even hang a television with certain ones. Not this one, but you can hang a TV on the wall using the higher grade anchor bolts that go up to uh, several hundred pounds with these. So I'll show you how to do it. It's just a little bit of what you have to pay attention to when you get it going, and then you're good to go. So the first thing we have to do is get the screw and anchor off of this mounting plate. And it may just twist off, but if not, as in this one's pretty tight, we're just going to use a screwdriver and hanging on to that is just going to rip my hands up. So I'll just use a pair of pliers to hold it as we unscrew it, just like that. Okay, so here you have the bracket. Now the first thing we're gonna do is put in the screw. You have to do this first. And then we're going to feed the screw onto the toggle bolt. So you do this before you put it on the wall, because if you do it the other way, you won't be able to get this on. And once you unscrew this, if you unscrew it too far, this will literally just be down in your inside your wall and you can't get it back. So you want it to, to look like this. And then we're going to push this side in on the wall. These will close. And then once it gets on the other side of the wall, it will clamp. And you just tighten the screw and you are in business. Okay, so this is a bit of an extreme angle. We're coming in from below so that you can see it. And you want to take this time to maybe clean off any dust or anything that might have accumulated while it's there. And so we are just going to be pushing this into the hole like that. You'll hear it snap, just like that. Now we need to tighten the screw. And if you're using a screwdriver, a handheld, you know, not just the manual kind, righty tighty, lefty loosey, that matters either way, but you want to make sure that you're applying some negative pressure so it's pulling against the wall so that anchor is holding the screw so that you can tighten it. Oop. I was going the wrong way. There we go. Almost did exactly what I was telling you not to do. Okay, that is secure. Give it a little bit more. That's not going anywhere. All right, so here it is anchored on the wall. It's not going anywhere. It will be able to support a kid yanking the towel and it won't come out. But now we have to put on the bracket. Okay, so this is the cosmetic piece that holds the ring. This is what mounts to the bracket. And in my case, it is a flathead screwdriver. We're going to put this on the underside um, so we could have it on top or the bottom. It would look better so you don't see it by having it mounted on the underneath side. So what you do is before you put it on, you just want to unscrew it so that this little piece, this will push into the bracket so that this little piece is 
um, not protruding. We'll go ahead and put it on the wall. So the piece is going to mount and the protrusion is going to stick and mount right underneath that. So you may want to unscrew it just slightly so you could position this if you didn't put this in properly. You don't have to have it perfectly vertical. Um, it helps, but this is off maybe by three degrees. I'm not gonna worry about that. It will function just fine. So we're going to go ahead and put this on like that. And then I'm going to tighten that screw. Okay, so I have it on the wall. You may ha you might have an Allen wrench that or a certain type of screw. Hopefully, most of the ones I've seen just require a flathead screwdriver. So you go ahead and tighten that on, just like that. And now the bracket's on. Now it's just a matter of putting on the ring into these holes. Yours obviously would be a different style. You might just have one solid piece. It would be the same thing and it goes on like that. So here it is mounted, it looks beautiful, ready to go. So there you go guys, it looks nice, it was easy. You saved some money if you were thinking about having to call some DIY guy. So let me know uh, what you think in the comment section below. If there's something you want me to do a video on and it's something that I can do, I'll definitely do it. And I know that I've saved a lot of people a lot of money. They've, they've commented on a lot of my videos so I'm glad to hear in the comment section if I've helped you out. Please let me know. Give this video a like and click subscribe if you want more. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.